An investigation is underway in Pawtucket following the deadly shooting of a 19 year old woman last night. It's the second deadly shooting in Pawtucket in just two days. 12 News reporter Molly O'Brien is live in Pawtucket with what community leaders are saying about the recent uptick in violence. Mike and Shannon, Pawtucket police have given us no indication that the two shootings may be related, but community leaders are saying this violence needs to stop. An extra police presence near Broadway and Japonica Street in Pawtucket. Police say a 19 year old woman was shot and killed on Japonica Street Sunday night as she sat on a front porch. Neighbors tell 12 News they were surprised at the sound of gunshots around 11.30 p.m. It's a family neighborhood with lots of kids. Deeply saddened by the tragedy, a community liaison to the mayor's office said in a statement to 12 News, quote, these incidents cannot continue to happen in our community and we have to bring an end to this violence. This marks the second fatal Pawtucket shooting within two days. Police say Leonardo Tavares was shot and killed Saturday night on Randall Street. This really awful news is just, it's so heartbreaking. I know our community is, um, we're scared, we're tired, we know something needs to happen. Um, so it's just been really tough. Well, the city is working with the Nonviolence Institute to help get resources for the victim's family. State Representative Karen Alzate says she is talking with fellow leaders on what can be done. Pawtucket is not a violent community, right? We don't, that's not who we are and that's not how we're going to define ourselves. And Pawtucket police have not released the victim's name, but they do tell us this investigation is ongoing and they ask anyone with information to give them a call. Live in Pawtucket, I'm Molly O'Brien, 12 News. Pawtucket police are investigating two deadly shootings from this weekend. The latest happened late last night and claimed the life of a 19-year-old woman. 12 News reporter Molly O'Brien joins us live from Pawtucket with how community leaders there are responding. Molly. Mike and Shannon, Pawtucket police have given us no indication that these two shootings are related. Meanwhile, community leaders are saying this violence needs to stop. A heightened police presence on Japonica Street in Pawtucket Monday. Police say a 19 year old woman was shot and killed Sunday night as she sat on a front porch. This marks the second fatal Pawtucket shooting within two days. State Representative Karen Alzate says these acts of violence do not define the city. Like Pawtucket is not a violent community. My district is not a violent community. So we are taking the necessary steps so that this does not happen, but we can't do this alone. And it has to be a community effort. City Council President David Moran agrees. Uh, certainly I would say be concerned, but not concerned for your own safety. I mean, in the sense that you still have to live your lives normally as every day goes on, um, but the police are on top of the situation. Well, community liaison tells 12 News the city is working with the Nonviolence Institute to help the victim's family. Alzate says she is talking with fellow leaders on what else can be done. We definitely know that we need to um, discuss gun violence and what legislation have we put in for that. We can't wait until something terrible happens again. We need to pass legislation now that really combats all of it. And as you can see, community leaders emphasizing it's going to take a community effort to curb this violence. Pawtucket police say if you have any information regarding these shootings, go ahead and give them a call. Live in Pawtucket, I'm Molly O'Brien, 12 News.